Welcome back to Sons of the Forest. And I have a roof over my head. I'm not going to win any awards for architectural design, but it works. To help with the farming, I picked up a rope gun. Let's see how that went. Cave's not too far from the crash site. Here we go. Okay. Get some light on the situation. And body parts everywhere. What a surprise. Grab as much of this kit as I can. Can food. Mm. Head forward. Can't see much. Light sources are not great. Oh, skulls everywhere. <laughs> Another happy place on the island. So I think I'm going to go to night vision goggles. They have some pros and cons. I like them as they leave both hands free and allow me to switch up to a spear or a bow as needed. There's one over there. I'm going to try to clear this first cavern. Remove all the mutants so I can have a look. I'm going to fight them from this small bluff of rocks. They don't climb all that great. And they swim very poorly. So I try to use the terrain against them. They haven't noticed me yet. Let's see if I can get their attention. The night vision goggles. I find they're excellent for showing the cavern and the passageways, but they're poor at showing detail. Let's see if that wakes them up. There we go. ammo, but no matter. Oh, this guy's pretty good. Dude. Strangely quiet. First thing I gotta do is get some armor. Coming in here without armor is actually not the brightest plan. Fortunately, I can skin these mutants and pick up what's called creepy armor. And it's quite effective.
armor on. The mutants are like bullet sponges. You can empty entire clips into them. And unless you get a headshot, they just don't go down. I guess for whatever reason, their skin is really resistant. And apparently that's why it makes good armor. It is creepy, Phil. <laughs> it really is. It's time to loot the cavern. So they don't run into any more of these and get surprised. in that one. So a bunch of gear over here by the lights. And of course lots of skulls. No shortage of body parts in this game. Pick up the crucifix. Add that to the kit. I haven't really had a use for that as yet, but... Oh. Add some more armor. Let's see what else I can find. I did not dump meds into my storage, so I'm missing out a bunch here. Oh well. Let's get a circuit board. I'm sure I'm going to be missing items and stuff. I'm not really concerned about clearing it out completely. I'll take what I can find, but for the most part, I just want to move through and get the rope done. The rope gun is quite effective for farming. It speeds things up. Good tool to have. by the light. More dead construction guys. Oh, did not cook any food for this. Yeah, could have done this better. No matter. Up the corridor. <clears throat> Got a tail. Oh, there he is. Oh. Alright, I can assure you that was luck. <laughs> Certainly not skill. But good enough. Yeah. More creepy armor. We'll add that to the outfit. this. I don't even know what it is. Ok, 
going to use the time bomb on it. I'm not sure there's any other way to get around it. And this works well. Wow. What a mess. All right, moving forward. Gonna come up to another cavern here. Gonna have a bunch of mutants in it again. Gonna try to clear them out. See how well that goes. But unless I can pick them off one by one, I'm just going to run. Got some more armor. If two or three of these get on me, they're going to rip me apart. very heroic. So now I'm just going to run my ass off. <laughs> I got a fingers there. Up in there as well. Yeah. There's too many here. I'll have to come back and visit another day. Wow. That entire construction team is hanging from the ceiling. Clearly they were not getting paid enough. Catch my wind. I should have had full water and full uh, food for this. Allow me to run a bit longer with more vitality, but nah. Why do things the easy way? thing about the mutants, they don't react very well. There's another fingers. They're tough. Once they pick up on you though, they're all over you. They are fast, but to begin with, they react slowly. So running by is viable. Dead guys hanging from the ceiling. They're everywhere. I wonder what they were doing down here. Now, well, something's chasing me. Time to move. If I remember correctly, it's down here. Some heavy breathing. I think I'm being chased by the fingers. Keep running. So again, not very heroic or skillful, but running is effective. shot and he takes out two pieces of armor. Oh. No, do not want to fight them. Rope gun! What do we got here? Buckshot. Excellent. Find any. Time to go! Just follow this and find the exit. So that covers my basic setup. I've got food and water going, walls for protection, shelter, 
so I can get better rest. And now the rope gun. And we're out. Not too bad. Could have done a lot worse. Used up too much ammo, left some armor behind. But I managed to acquire the rope gun, so call that a win. Until next episode, good luck, good hunting.